The Senate now has before it for final consideration House Bill number 509. The Secretary will read the bill. In the House of Representatives, House Bill 509 by Revenue and Taxation Committee, an act relating to taxation to revise provisions regarding food tax credits and refunds. Madam President. Senator Vick. Madam President, I ask unanimous consent that further reading of the bill be dispensed with and the journal show it has been read the third time at length and placed before the Senate for final consideration. You've heard the unanimous consent request. Is there an objection? Hearing none, it is so ordered and Senator Vick is recognized to open debate. Thank you, Madam President. Um, you'll see that this bill has a pretty low bill number, not as quite as low as the one we just heard. But it's been around for a while, um, and that was to see if something else would happen in regard to the food tax credit or the, the sales tax on food. And, and none of those things happen, so I bring uh, this bill as a way to hopefully compensate for the inflation we have seen in food um, for those, who, those of us who pay the, the sales tax on food. A little background, the food tax credit was implemented in 2008, uh, which was before maybe all of us but Senator Stennett were here. And um, it's been unchanged since 2015. In 2015, it got raised to $100 uh, for residents and $120 for seniors. And so if you take from 2015 and you take an inflation calculator using the consumer price index that showed that it should be $118 um, for residents and $141 for senior citizens. And so really all this does is get the food tax credit up to compensate for inflation over the last seven years. And with the recent bump in inflation, it probably doesn't even cover that. Um, and if you look at the end of the bill, you'll see that it doesn't take place, it doesn't take effect until, um, or excuse me, that's not at the end of the bill, but you'll see that it doesn't take place for, until tax year 2023, that is on page one. And you'll see at the end of the bill that this is paid for with um, the tax relief fund. Um, these, these two things were done um, in cooperation with the gentleman on the second floor and the body across the rotunda. I would have liked to have started this right away because the inflation is real and is here, uh, but an effort to get this bill out of the body across the rotunda, those uh, changes were made uh, to make it um, passable. So I think it's appropriate that we do this. I think it's important that we do this. This is tax relief that goes to every resident of Idaho, um, virtually every resident of Idaho. Um, those who are in food stamps are not, they don't pay uh, the sales tax on food and so they are not eligible. But, uh, and those in prison are not eligible. So it doesn't quite go to everybody, but it's 90% plus of the people who live in Idaho qualify for this credit. So this is tax relief for virtually everyone in Idaho. With that, debate is open. Is there further debate? Madam President. Senator Stennett. Thank you, Madam President. Debate the bill. Senator has the floor. Thank you. Um, I thank the good Senator from two. Um, it is pretty discouraging that uh, we are looking at $20 of a food credit given how expensive food is getting um, <coughs> and that we have to wait till 2023 for them <coughs> to get it. Um, but we didn't seem to have any um, ability to do anything better than that and similar to the last bill where we still have people falling through the cracks and in fixed incomes and we can't seem to get it fixed. Um, this is better than nothing, but it is pretty discouraging that we can't seem to do better for our people. But I appreciate that there is something out there. Thank you, Madam President. Is there any further debate? Madam President. Senator Eggenbrod. Thank you, Madam President. Would the uh, Senator from District 2 yield to a question? Will the Senator from District 2 yield to a question from the Senator from District 13? I will yield. Senator Eggenbrod. Thank you, Senator. Um, my question is uh, referring to the tax relief fund. Um, 
So a year ago, I believe we obligated that fund for 112 million ongoing. This year, uh, with another income tax relief bill, we obligated it for another 94 million ongoing. So we're we're well over 200 million on ongoing. Do you know the balance in that fund, and will we have enough to cover this additional uh, withdrawal? Senator Vic to respond. Uh, thank you, Madam President and Senator from 13. Um, the the reason that was delayed is they the the fiscal note on this is about 32 million and and uh, I was told that the, it would have that amount in it in 2024, which is actually when this credit is paid. So it takes effect in 2023, but the growth of the fund um, will cover <coughs> this amount in 2024, which is when the credit will be paid. Thank you, Madam President. Would he, uh, would the district from uh, two yield to one more question? Will the senator yield further? I will yield. Senator Agenbrod. Thank you, Senator from two. Um, so, so we're projecting that the fund's going to grow to an annual revenue stream of over two hundred and fifty million dollars by twenty twenty four. Um, what if it doesn't? What? How do? How do we fund this uh, income tax credit or in, uh, food tax credit uh, in the case that the fund isn't large enough? Senator Vick. Uh, Madam President, I assume it will come out of the general fund. Thank you, Senator. Is there further debate? Hearing none, Senator Vick is recognized to close the debate. Debate is closed. Debate being closed, the question is, shall House Bill Number 509 pass the Senate? The Secretary will call the roll. Agenbrod? Anthon, Bayer, Blair, Burgoyne. Madam President. Senator Burgoyne. 60 seconds to explain my vote, please. The senator has 60 seconds. Um, thank you, Madam President. Uh, this legislation is a bitter pill to swallow, but it has to be swallowed. This is the people's money. Um, it is less than they are entitled to. It is less than they deserve. Um, but we need to find a way to get it to them. Uh, in whatever amount we can, and uh, we aren't the only ones that are involved in making this decision, so we must accept it. Th uh, with that, Madam President, I vote yes. Senator Burgoyne votes aye. Burton Shaw? Cook? Crabtree? Den Hartog? Grow? Guthrie? Harris? Hyder? Blakey? Lee? Lint? Lodge, Martin, Aye. Nelson, Aye. Nye, Patrick, Aye. Rice, Aye. Ricks, Aye. Riggs, Semeroff, Souza, Stennett, Thane, Aye. Van Orden, Aye. Vic, Wardingo King, Aye. Winder, Aye. Wintrow, Aye. Woodward, Zito, Lakey, Aye. Nye, Wintrow, roll call shows 35 ayes, 0 nay, 0 absent and excused. A majority having voted in the affirmative, House Bill number 509 has passed the Senate. Is there a correction to the title? Hearing none, the title is also approved and House Bill number 509 will be returned to the House of Representatives.